one. Today's video is going to be a first impressions on the new Barry M lip kits. They have quite a few of them out at the moment. I think there's about five colours, there may be some more, I'm not too sure. I have two colours so far, but the one I'm going to be testing out and reviewing today is the nude one. Matte Me Up Liquid Lip Paint Kit, and it comes with a lip liner as well. So I have my phone here with the information so I can read out what this claims to do. I have lost the box for this, I've thrown it out, so I'm just going to read off the website now for you. This is originally £6.99, so it's really affordable and cheap, and it's a really good drugstore dupe for something like the Kylie Jenner lip kits. Personally, I haven't even tried this yet. I do have two of the Kylie Jenner lip kits, and I genuinely love them. I think they're really good quality and they're long-lasting. So hopefully this lives up to that one as well. So let's just read the claims. In three gorgeous... Oh, three colours. Okay, I thought there was five, so there's only three. It's non-drying, ultra-long wearing formula. It's easy to apply and will leave lips with a gorgeously bold finish. Each lip kit comes with a matte liquid lip paint and a lip liner. So that's really cool. I love the fact that they've added a lip liner into this kit. It's just a really good bonus because you don't have to try and find a lip liner in your collection that will try and match this. This is a perfect matte shade already, so that's really good. So you can buy this from Superdrug or from Boots. I actually bought this from Superdrug in town, so yeah, not problem with that. That's really easy to find. So at the minute, I've just got a lip balm on because my lips are quite dry at the moment, so I'm going to wipe this off and then go ahead and apply the lip liner first I'm going to outline my lips and then fill it in with the lip liner and then go over the top with the liquid lipstick I forgot to mention this is in the shade go to so that's the color of this lip kit so now I'm going to go in and fill my lips with this lip liner pencil already it's really really creamy which is a good thing um, sometimes it can be bad if it's too creamy because it can be too soft and it can break easily but so far I'm not having to put any pressure on. I think having a lip balm underneath really helps as well. So that's the lip liner all filled in on my lips. I like the colour on its own, so you could go ahead and just wear the lip liner if you wanted to, but I am going to finish up with the liquid lipstick now. I'm also going to swatch this on the back of my hand so you can get a gist of what the colour looks like. So that's the colour of the lip liner right there. I'm going to go in with the liquid lipstick. So the wand is a doe foot applicator, which I do like. It's rather small, which is good, but then it's bad. So it depends on your preference, but we'll see. Okay, this is really, really liquidy. Like, not moussey like I was expecting, it's quite liquidy. And the colour seems to be a shade or two lighter than the lip liner, but it's not a huge difference. I really love the colour of this liquid lipstick, I think it's amazing. The only issue I have straight away is because it's so liquidy, I find that you could easily mess up. So if you go over the line, it's really easy to do because it's so liquidy, like one little movement you can get it off your lip line if that makes sense but I like the fact because it's so liquidy you don't need as much product like you could literally fill in your top lip smash your lips together and you have coverage on both lips so that's really good and I love the fact that it's literally pigmented in one swipe you don't really need to go back and forth to build up the color it's literally one swipe and you have the color I love that so that's really good so that's on my lips and it's already drying down I've literally had it on about a minute now and it's nearly dry so that's really good it feels really comfortable but I will tell you that in a minute once it's fully dry so let me just swatch it on the back of my hand so I will prove to you like one swipe true pigmentation it's really really good coverage so it's literally been about a minute and it's already dry so good completely try. I'm give it a few more seconds and I'm going to do the kiss proof test to see if it comes off or it transfers or smudges in any way. So let me just kiss the back of my hand and I put on loads of pressure. You cannot see it at all. That's really really good. Very impressed. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be coming back at different times in the day and just seeing how this has come up. I'm not going to be retouching this at all, so I'm going to leave my makeup as it fully is throughout the whole day and then just check back at different times and see how it's how it's lasted and if it's smudged or transferred or like bled in any way. So yeah, I'll be coming back in a minute. So the time is now, 11.45 right now. I will 
will check back in a few more hours and see how this has lasted. Hey everyone, so I am back for my second check-in now. I have to go and get my daughter from school in a minute, so I'm going to be really, really quick with this little update. So as you can see, it's 2.45 right now. So it's been three hours since I first applied this liquid lipstick, and let me just tell you, it's so, so comfortable to wear. It is literally like, I, I can't even feel it on my lips. It feels like nothing. Um, it's just so comfortable. It doesn't feel drying or anything like that. So, so far, this is amazing. Like, usually by now, 2.45ish, I would be applying like a second uh, top coat to like up it to make it more you know opaque and give it a really nice finish again because usually by now the center portion of my lips has rubbed off like usually but it hasn't it's like still on there it's not transferred it hasn't bled or anything like that so I'll zoom in so you can see like it's not transferring or anything it's really really good it hasn't bled the top portion of my lip here is faded a little bit but nothing to be concerned about so really happy in a second I have to go and run and get my daughter from school so yeah I really like this one highly highly impressed with this so the next check-in will be again in another three hours so I'll be back at 5.45 so I'm back for another check-in and I'm in my robe now because I'm trying to get comfy for the night so I really want to take this makeup off now because I've had it on all day <laughs> and these lashes are starting to annoy me so I just want to rip them off but anyway um, my makeup has lasted pretty well to be honest um, the lipstick I'm really really impressed with I must say it's one of the most comfortable lipsticks I have ever worn and it's definitely up there with the high-end brands in my opinion and it just it really feels like lightweight on the lips it doesn't feel heavy and thick or anything it feels really lightweight like you haven't even got a lipstick on but the only downside is it's quite dry and my lips have cracked a little bit but I think that's because I've had it on all day and yeah so I've been eating and drinking as well so but that's normal that's to be expected with a liquid lipstick because they dry down to a matte finish but other than that it doesn't feel heavy so I could live with this. Let's zoom you in now so you can see any difference. Okay so it's really dark because I've just got my torch on, whoa okay it's really bright. Um, but as you can see on the inner corner of my lips it has worn off it has also rubbed off on the inside of the mouth and it does tend to look a little bit dry and cracked but other than that it's actually lasted really really well so I am very impressed with this liquid lipstick it's 5.32 right now, I've had this on since 11.45, so this has lasted me a long, long time. I am really, really impressed with this matte liquid lipstick from Barry M. I really don't tend to have a lot of Barry M products in my collection. I haven't tried any of their foundations or blushes or anything like that. The only thing I have got is like their nail polishes, but I don't really do my nails that often, as you can tell. So, yeah, to be honest, this is like my first proper try at Barry M makeup, and I'm really, really impressed. Apart from their Dazzle Dusts, which I have used in the past, but I don't really tend to pick them up anymore. Like, I don't really tend to use them that often because I have so many other things but this is really really nice I really do love this I think I will go ahead and get the other shade because I've got two of them so I've got this one and I've got the more pinky toned one I think there is like a red one as well so I have to pick that one up but again I am highly impressed with this for seven pounds you cannot go wrong at all this has lasted me all day and to be honest at this sort of time of day like 5 30 6 o'clock ish I usually take my makeup off anyway because like the kids are home Ian's home from work and I get dinner on and then I just like take my face off <laughs> and then put my pajamas on and like chill for the night and like watch Netflix and stuff so by this time of night anyway I usually take this off so I don't really usually top up at this time of night so because this has lasted literally all day until now I am so impressed this will be the liquid lipstick I take out in town like for nights out or anything like that like special occasions going out for a meal because I know I'm gonna eat this will be amazing again because I know it's gonna last be good I have eaten pasta as well so I had like an oily pasta so you could see like there was only minimal like removal if that makes sense on the outer corners and the inner slightly but other than that it looks amazing still so I'm really really impressed like I could still take photos with this on and it looks nice so I love it 
final thoughts about the Barry M Matte Me Up Liquid Lipstick. Would I recommend this? 100% recommendation. I really do love this. The price is amazing, like really, really good. And if you are contemplating trying liquid lipsticks, if you've never tried them before, and you're thinking about buying like Kylie Jenner's ones, I would probably skip out on Kylie Jenner and just buy these because these are probably better in my opinion. I have used a Kylie Jenner lipsticks before and they are quite thick because they are like a moussey consistency so they go on a bit thicker and sometimes with the darker shades like I have a dark dark purple it can be a little bit patchy so you have to go over it one or two times but because this is like a true liquid formula it glides on so pigmented it feels like nothing once it's dried down I really highly recommend these so definitely try them. I really hope you enjoyed my demo slash first impressions on the Barry M Matte Me Up Liquid Lip Kit. I absolutely loved doing this video today, it was so much fun and yeah I'm just ready to get this makeup off now, I've had it on for a long long time so I just want to take it off. So again thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video, bye!